Hey, what's up guys? So today we're gonna talk about something very near and dear to my heart. Carbonara. And I'm gonna show you how to make it. Now, just to give a little explanation on what carbonara is, please feel free to skip this part. If you don't want to learn about what carbonara is, you may certainly skip to the process. I won't be offended, I promise. But if you decided to stay, thank you. So carbonara is essentially a pasta dish that is super creamy and rich, and yet it has no cream in it at all. It's purely egg yolk and Parmesan and Pecorino Romano. That's pretty much the gist and also, well, guanciale or bacon. You should use guanciale if you can find it, which is a cured pork gel. It's like an Italian cured pork gel. If you can find it, no big deal. If you don't, you know, you can sub bacon or pancetta. Totally up to you. But it's essentially, you're taking egg yolks and cheese and whisking that up and taking hot pasta and a little bit of that pasta water and using that to emulsify all of those delicious foods together and you create this emulsified creamy sauce that's bacony and smoky and rich and creamy yet just strangely perfectly satisfying. All right guys, this is an extremely easy recipe for the outcome. Not even lying, you should be able to pull this off in 30 minutes or less. With that said, you're going to want to get a large pot of water filled with about 4 or 5 quarts of water, bring that up to a boil, season it pretty generously with salt. It is okay if your water is a little bit salty, that's kind of what you want. While you're waiting for that to come up to the boil, you're going to take 5 ounces of bacon, guanciale, or pancetta, depending on what you can find, and slice that into half inch wide lardons. Now, traditionally, you should be using guanciale, which is a cured pork cheek, but uh, I got impatient and ended up using bacon. It was still delicious. Don't worry. Now, once your pasta water is boiling, you're going to drop in one pound of spaghetti. Now, you should be cooking this based off whatever the package says. Mine said 11 to 15 minutes, which gave me a good al dente. Now, you notice the way that I dropped the spaghetti in might be a little weird, but as it cooks, you can slowly, gradually push it down until it all falls in the water, which is a pretty good method on getting spaghetti in a pot that may not fit it all perfectly. Now, while your pasta is cooking, you're going to heat up two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil over medium heat, and then you're going to add that sliced bacon to that pan, and you're just going to cook it on medium heat, stirring it often until those bad boys turn nice and crispy. Should take about five to eight minutes to do that. Once the bacon's done, pull it off the heat. Next, you're going to add two whole eggs and five egg yolks to a medium-sized bowl. Season that generously with black pepper. Add one ounce of freshly grated Parmigiano-Reggiano and one ounce of freshly grated some other cheese that I forgot the name of. Oh yeah, Pecorino Romano. So to clarify, one ounce Parmigiano-Reggiano and one ounce of Pecorino Romano. You're just going to whisk all of that together and that is it for that part. Now at this point, your pasta should be done, but wait. First, before you toss all that pasta water out and drain it, you're going to want to reserve at least a cup of it. So get a measuring cup or a Pyrex cup and drop that in and take about a cup or three quarters of a cup of the pasta water out and reserve that because you're going to need it. Now you can strain your pasta. Now immediately after straining that pasta, you're going to add it back to your bacon pan, which should still be warm and toss it thoroughly to coat with that bacon fat, olive oil, and get that bacon sort of thoroughly mixed throughout. Now once that's been thoroughly tossed in the bacon, you're gonna add your egg cheese mixture while tossing constantly. Make sure you don't have any heating elements on or anything like that. We're just using the residual heat in the pan to carry over to melt that cheese and help emulsify all this. Now we're gonna add a half cup of our pasta water while continuously tossing and you're gonna notice that everything starts to go to sort of a, a rich, creamy, smooth sauce and that's what you want. That's the egg yolk and butter and fat and pasta water all emulsifying together to create a beautiful carbonara sauce. At this point, feel free to season with just a little bit more salt to give it some more flavor. Season it to taste. If it needs more salt, add more salt here. Now to get it in a nice little mound, I use a carving fork to get it on there, but you know what? Live your life. Put it on the plate however you want. Grate some fresh Parmigiano-Reggiano on top and finish it with some fresh cracked black pepper. That is it. And as per tradition, the final product. <music> Alright guys, in 
that is it. Very simple recipe that I think most people can pull off, if not everyone. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next week.